All right, friends. So I want you to go ahead and grab your notebook. And go ahead. This is our list we made yesterday. I need you to flip the page. We're going to start a new one. Okay. Go ahead and write your name and the date just like we did yesterday. So I'm going to show you right now. Got to write Miss B. Okay. There's my name right at the very top. Okay. Nice and small on the line. Our date today is 3-19-20. I'm gonna wait to get you, have you get that all written. Okay, 3-19-20. That's more important. If you don't have your name, it's okay because it's all in this notebook anyway. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and write C slash C day two, right underneath your name. Okay, I'll give you a second to do that. You got it? You good? Okay. Now you're going to write the Jones Family Express, which is a title to our book right at the top. Okay. So we can see it and we know that that's what we're writing about. Okay. Because we're going to be comparing the other two, remember? So what are some things... I'll let you brainstorm for a second. What are some things that happened in our story? Okay, I want you to think of some things. How did our story start? How did it continue in the middle? And then how did it end? Those are the three things I need you to focus on the most. Okay, what was the purpose of our story? What were they looking for? What was the problem? Okay, what happened? All right, so think about that for a second. Give me a thumb up when you got it how the story started. Awesome, it looks like everybody is ready. So what's, how did our story start? I want you to yell it right in the screen, nice and loud so I can hear you. Good, so it started with Stephen wanting to get the perfect gift for Aunt Carolyn, okay? So that's how our story started, okay? That's what he decided to do, okay? Why did he like Aunt Carolyn? Why, why was she gone? She was traveling, okay? She was around the world seeing new places and he always admired her. He always wanted to go with her, okay? So those are very important things to understand is that she was coming back from not seeing him for a while. So he wanted to make her feel special and give her something special. Okay, so he really wanted to get her the perfect gift. So what did he do? Give you a second to think about it. What did he do? Good, you're right. He um, went around town to find the perfect gift but couldn't find it. Okay, so now I have two points. Okay, now I want you to think about what happened next? So he couldn't find the perfect gift. So what happened? Who helped him? Who helped him? You're right. Uncle Charles brought Stephen to his house where he found a old train. Good. So he found an old train. So what did he do? Yep. He fixed up the train. Good. 
to look like his family. Good. How, what did he do next? Yep. He picked up Aunt Carolyn from the train station. You're right. Okay, and gave her her gift, right? Good. And I want you to tell me how the story ended. I want you to write it down in your paper. Okay, what happened? Did she love it? And then what'd they do? Okay, that's what I want you to write right now. Take a few more seconds. Think about how our story ended. Awesome. So now we have two stories that we've read. We read the birthday swap where Lori was thrown a birthday party by her older sister. Okay. She didn't know what was happening. She was trying to find the perfect gift for her sister and then her sister surprised her. Okay. And then we have the Jones Family Express with all of our notes. We have Stephen who wanted to get his aunt the perfect present. Couldn't find it. His family helped him. And then he, his aunt loved it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is right at the bottom of this page, we are going to write the things that we found similar. Okay. If you don't have enough room, flip to the next page. Okay. I'm probably just going to flip right to the next page. Okay, I'm going to put my name back on it. I'd like you to do that now with our date. Okay, and then you can write similar. Right at the top. Okay, we're going to make a new list. I'm going to give you a second to figure, write all that out, figure out where you're going to write it. Okay. If you have space on the bottom of your Jones Express page, you can do it there. If you need to just use a new page or the back of the Jones family page, that is fine too. Okay, go ahead and do that quickly. So now we need to think of both stories. What was the same in both stories? What went on in the book that was similar? Can you tell me? I want you to write it down. Write down what you found was similar between the two books. Do that now. Okay, you got it? Did you write down all of your ideas? I'll give you one more minute. All right, so some ideas that I came up with was that they both had the main character looking for the perfect gift and they both struggled to find the perfect gift, okay? And they both have big family parties, okay? Those are where I want you to start and then you can come up with more ideas on how they are similar. What was similar about what happened in the story? OK, 
Okay, use your list that you created of both the plots and the list of all the events that happened in the story. Use that to help you find what's similar and different. Okay, continue to do your writing in your notebook. If you need to add more things to your other lists, you can. If you need to finish your similarities, you can. Okay, this is a sim very similar to a Venn diagram. Okay, keep up the great work. You guys are doing a great job.